<clears throat> Hello. <clears throat> there, there's Carl. You left me a voice message. Mm. All right, sir. You left me a voice. Can you hear me? Mm-hmm. You, you left me a voice message. You said, All right, can you help me out that name, sir, so that I can pull up your record? Name here is Carl. Mm. Carl? Carl. Mm hmm. Uh, what, what was your last name? My name is Carl. Childers. Carl. Fal Falden, right? Carl, my name. Childers. Carl Childers, what's your name? I'm not understanding. First of all, sir, could you speak a little bit loud? I can't hear you. My name Carl Childers. Mm -hmm. What's your name? My name is Officer Steven. Well, how you doing, Officer? I'm fine, sir. You left me a voice message? Yeah, I sent you a call, Mr. Carl. Uh, you had received an information call about your non believable arrest warrant, which is issued against your name in the case of tax evasion. Because the Internal Revenue Service has done the court audit on your tax paper and they have found some miscalculation. Just because of those miscalculations, Mr. Carl, you owe the amount to the government which is $2,496. Mm. You said I had a, I have a warrant for my, a warrant for my arrest, mm. Yes, Mr. Carl. I don't have, I, I had a, I had a warrant for my arrest a few years ago for indecent uh -huh. exposure, but, but I got that taken care of and it weren't no $2,000, mm. Right now, uh, Mr. Carl, let me know, do you want to take care of your taxes or do you want to proceed the legal way to get you arrested so that I can help you out? You got to come arrest me, you say? No, I said, uh, what do you want? How you want to resolve this case? Do you want to take care of your taxes to simply pay that amount, $2,496, to the IRS department? Or do you want me to proceed? the legal way to get you arrested. That I'm asking, how you, how you want to resolve this case? Well, I don't want to be arrested. What's your name, sir? Uh, my name is Officer Stephen Marty. Okay, Mr. Carl, if you don't, uh, if you don't need, can you hear me, Mr. Carl, probably? Mm-hmm, yeah. Yeah if, you, yeah, if you don't want to get arrested, so what do you need to do, Mr. Carl, first, uh, first of all, you have to cancel up your arrest warrant to showing your true intention in this federally recorded line, which we are talking. Once your arrest warrant is canceled, then I will uh, fix the appointment with the IRS of one of officer and one of CPA at your place. I will send the officer at your place, okay, who will sit with you and explain you each and every single thing, where you have done the mistake, okay, and why you owe that amount. Once you understand, then you have to pay that amount to the officer. So, let me know, Mr. Carl, in order to cancel the arrest warrant, you have the whole amount with you, which is $2,496. Um, could you repeat that? Excuse me, I did, I did, I dropped the phone, I didn't hear, I couldn't hear what you're saying. Mm. Right. I, I heard All you right. say something about two. Hello? Sir, I don't want to be arrested. I just, I don't, I just don't understand what you were saying. I'm saying. I'm could saying, you repeat? Uh, could you talk a little louder, sir? I'm, I'm sorry. I can't. <clears throat> All right. Can you hear me now? I, I, Can you hear me now? Is your name Stephen? You said officer. Stephen. I heard that, sir. Yeah, I can hear you now. Mm, what was it that uh, you were saying? I'm saying, Mr. Carl, first of all, you have to cancel up your arrest warrant to follow some legal procedure in this week.
exploding line with PR traffic. Once your arrest warrant is cancelled, then I will authorize to fix the appointment with the CPA of IRS. I will send the CPA at your home who will gonna sit with you and explain you you're why gonna, you owe that amount. Mm, you're gonna come to my house and say, you're gonna come on over? I'll put on some coffee. Mm, no, I, I got. Send, I will send the. Do you like? I will send the CPA, certified public accountant, at your home. I'm not coming up your home. Officer Steven, do you like me. potatoes? Mm. Sir. Yeah, then you have to. Then you have to pay that amount. So right now, let me know. Do you have to with you? Which is two thousand five hundred ninety-six dollars. Yes, sir. I got two thousand dollars. Mm. Would you like to have okay, it? Uh, okay, so in which form you have, like in your checking account, or in your saving account, or in your credit card? Where have you that funds with you? I've got two thousand dollars. I got it buried out in in a mason jar out in my backyard. Do you want me to go back? Um, do you want me to go get it for you? Are you going to come by here, sir? Cause I'm going to make some coffee. Mm, you want some coffee? Mm. First of all, you need to go to your bank and withdraw the amount of two thousand four hundred ninety-six dollars. Right, I'm gonna go do that right now. I'm gonna go. Mm. Excuse me, I'm gonna go get okay. that mason jar. I got about five thousand dollars out there in that jar. I've been oh. saving it up my whole life. Mm. You know what though? I was gonna take a trip to go see my grandson someday though, but but if I owe you money, sir, I'll pay you that money. Cause I don't I don't want any warrants. Mm. Okay, so now you have that about in cash that you said. I have cash. Do you want do you like potatoes? And we are talking with yourself right now, Mr. Carl. That, that is yourself phone number. 217-737-5970. Yes, sir. Okay. So make sure one thing, the call is doesn't disconnect because this is a federal recovery line. I need to record each and every single thing to prove you innocent and to the bar counsel. So what do you need to do, Mr. Carl? First of all, you can grab your car key one driving license of yours and your cash with you, okay? And go inside the car. Once you're in the car, just let me know so that I can explain you what you need to do in order to cancel the arrest warrant, okay? Hey there, I'm in my car already. I was getting ready to go get some potatoes because I like could potatoes. You, could, you, could you blow the horn of your car? I'm sorry, what did he say? I said, could you blow your car horn? I can, but it doesn't work. If I put y'all in it, I, what I gotta do, Steve, Officer Steve, what I gotta do, and I don't hope I get a ticket for this from you, because my heart actually doesn't work. I think it's a fuse, bad fuse. And so when I push on my heart, I stick my head out the window, and I go, beep! Get out my way, you know, because my horn doesn't work. So I push on it, and I say out the window, I take my head right out there, and I go, beep, you know what I'm saying, Officer Steve. Okay. That way, I don't get a ticket. Mm. All right, all right, all right. So let me know uh, where, uh, how much far up the Walmart store nearby to you? I was right at the Walmart already, sir. I was here to get some potatoes. So I'm, just, I'm right at the Walmart right now. Right now you're at Walmart. I am. I'm right at the Walmart. I got my money. Mm. So go fuck yourself over there. Okay, okay sir. Okay. Thank you. You're a professional guy. <laughs> as soon as you said, as soon as you said that you were up here.